Well, everybody, it's Groundhog's Day again for David Goggins. If you pan it down here, you see it's about three o'clock in the morning and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. Not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate it's a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. While everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Stay hard. How many of you know people who moan and groan and complain about life all the time, all right? They might moan and groan about their job. I'm sick of this job. I'm sick of you. And they just moan and groan and complain all the time and never do anything about it. They haven't got to the point where they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. They just have enough energy to complain about it, and they consider that, in fact, they believe that that's equivalent to doing something about it, just complaining. No, that can't get you where you want to go. That cannot create your reality for you. The other thing that keeps most people from realizing their true greatness and their true potential, circumstances, their environment. There are many people who believe because of where they're born, because of the area where they are in life and where they find themselves, that's all they know. Given my circumstances, ladies and gentlemen, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. See, I know something about you, even not knowing you, that you've got greatness within you. You have the ability to do things that you can't even begin to imagine. You have talents and skills in you that you haven't even begun to reach for yet. No one could have convinced me, given my circumstances, given my background, that I would be doing what I'm doing right now. I was born in Liberty City on a floor in 62nd Street, a twin brother and me. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. So some of you are going to experience a breakthrough. Some of you are going to go back and look at your dreams and brush them off. Some of you are going to begin to look at yourself and say, hey, look here, I know I have not done all that I can do. Whatever goal that you have in mind, I want that to be a goal that will challenge you, something that will make you stretch. It was Osborne who said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it, that you talked yourself out of it? Whatever it is, bring it back out there. How you going to do it, that will come to you in due time. Get your grind on, hustle. Get your, put your head down, quit looking up. Get your head down and hustle, hustle. Listen, man. The dream is absolutely free. The hustle and grind is so separate. It's two different things. You know, dreaming is one thing. Goals is putting work clothes on your dreams. You gotta set goals. When you set goals, you take your dreams and you don't put work clothes on. You gotta hustle, man. You gotta talk to God every day. If you ain't talking to God, you're making this thing way harder than it's got to be. You gotta include God in the mix or you're gonna be struggling. Listen to me, I struggle. God, you don't put God in this thing, you're gonna be wandering around for a long time trying to figure it out.